They planted a Syrian flag on the roundabout, but the fight is still going on for the rest of the village. It's been a hard one. They say they came in at about seven this morning. It's getting on for five in the afternoon now, and it's still going on. A lot of the men here are locals, members of an organization called National Defense, a sort of territorial army that's being drafted in to help out the regulars. They say they're fighting for Malula, for what it stands for, as a place that's half Christian, half Muslim, and also fighting for President Bashar al-Assad against the jihadists of the Nusra Front. Now, they've been very disparaging about them. They've said that they've run away like rats, but clearly the Nusra people are putting up a hard fight because they're still in there. In the short time I've been here, I've seen a fair number of wounded being brought back in pickups, raced back to the uh, further back down to the rear echelon area, a heavier round there, maybe a tank firing. So it's going on here in quite a big way. They're fighting hard. And while the Syrian army and the national defense here seem pretty well armed and well organized, they're facing clearly some pretty formidable adversaries who up to now, after 10 hours of fighting, are still in Malula.